G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we're about to continue our Silent Hill series into day 38, we start of the day again as always just before, no, oh, just before 4am, so the sun is yet to rise, but something we haven't actually done for a little while, is grab a coffee and go and enjoy it on the balcony, out here watching the sun creep over the hills over there, Cheers to you, sunny boy. Hopefully you come up and scare all the zombies away. You don't quite set them on fire like the good old Minecraft days, but you still do a wonderful job of slowing them down just that little bit to give me a chance to actually not get myself murdered in a very embarrassing fashion. But while the night has been cooking away, I've been cooking away, making myself some more bullet tips. I'll make another 275 out of you. I do need some more clay though. That's a bit of an issue. I might have to go down to the paddock down south, or down actually down north. It's up north, I suppose, uh, to go and use the auger and dig up a whole bunch of clay to get it done once and for all. I have heaps of it because I'm completely out of it. Got plenty of steel in there, though. Got lots of that. I haven't quite decided what my plan of action today is going to be. I need to go back to the tradies and hand in those quests because they set me off on quests and I did them. I want my rewards. But I think it might even just be a day of maybe just upgrading the base even. Like, the base has definitely seen some better days. I want to go around the inside of it and put another wall up. I've got all the concrete now to do that. Maybe sell some learn elixir. That should be a pretty good time, I think. I don't know. There's nothing really jumping out at me as being, like, super important. Nothing that's like, you know, Josh, you need to do this or you're going to die. For the most part, I'm feeling pretty comfortable now, which is an odd feeling to have in this world. Before I leave for the day, though, one thing I do know that I need to do is make myself some even more 762s. So let's get you cracking there. Another... 368, that'll do nicely. Oh, I might as quickly grab those. Come to think of it, I'll grab those and I'll head back downstairs and drop them off. How am I looking on the ammo fronts? I've got, oh, I'm running very low on gunpowder. How am I running low on gunpowder? I had thousands and thousands and thousands of that shit before. I haven't made that much ammo, have I? How am I looking on the ammos? What's that? 300, 600, almost 900. That's not that many. I might have to go back to the gunpowder mine and dig up some more stuff. Got the organ now, but even so, I'm down in the depths with a bunch of screamers upstairs. I might even take good old Sam with a sledger with me to try and keep me safe. All right, interesting. That's not what my main mission is right now. My main mission is sorting out this little room over here. I need to sort out my base and make it a slightly better area. I can keep a lot of the architecture here. I keep like the, um, the arches and stuff, but the rest of this nonsense has to go. This area here is valuable to me. I need to make it as such. I'm definitely going to need a hammer, so I'll grab you. I'll also grab some, just a little bit of concrete or to do, because there are some blocks around that I want to upgrade. Oh, I've got those hatches on me as well. Let's quickly go drop those off before I get too distracted and then, like, go on to the adventure with my hatches in my hotbar. All right, have a look. You go that way, you go that way. All right, so we have two fallback positions. Still need to upgrade all the roof and stuff to be extra thick and extra juicy just to make sure the zombies don't come through that way, but that's... That'll work nicely. Got those ones there. Got those ones over there as well. Open those up. I'll never have them both up at the same time. You'd fall back to this one when you really bloody needed to. But that, that's spiffy. That's spiffy span and I like it a whole lot. <sighs> okay. I like how this base is coming together. I really bloody do. It wasn't really my first choice to come and hang out here, but I'm here now. So just roll with it. Let's upgrade you to get you nice looking all nice and spick and span again. I know it's been a waste of concrete, but fuck it. Aesthetics matter, especially when it's a nice garden path outside your door. Normally I hate doing this, but I've got like these little, these little corner blocks over here I want to fill. So I've got the concrete, but I'll just make a wet concrete block, save myself the efforts. Although you're still cracking away on that one. That's okay. That's okay. Wet concrete block, make two of those, please, and get the rest of that concrete mix back started again. Another thousand? Yep, no, that seems about right. For, for some reason, seeing four digits there surprised me. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but that is how much I wanted out of that. Um, I'm not sure when to start construction on the inner wall. You're all cobble there, so you definitely need to be concrete. That's the last of the wall that is concrete. Most of the outside is reinforced. So is it better to have two layers of regular concrete or one layer of reinforced concrete? I mean, sure, eventually I'll go around and I will make it. Oh, actually, that's a good point. That's still cobble. I would need to break those down, put full blocks in, and then match up the slope on the other side. Thank God I didn't make those concrete just yet. I would have made those and wasted those materials. I'm really mad at myself. But yeah, is it better to have two uh, like two layers of regular concrete, or one layer even, or one and a half layers of reinforced concrete than concrete? Well, clearly any reinforced concrete is going to be better. I just don't know. I just don't know how it's going to go. I'm not 100% sure, and that scares me. All right, well, whatever. Let's just keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to need to... Mmm, okay. 
I need the space to be empty to put like the 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 tables and stuff in here. So what if I put windows in here, but it's gonna look really annoying because it's not gonna match up to that. How am I gonna do that? I don't know. Because I can't put the windows just like on the inside block because it will take up these blocks here. And then I can't put the, the whole reason for this is to have somewhere to put my, uh, my, my tables. And I can't do that if I take up the space of window blocks. Damn it. Another really annoying thing about all this is that these, these wooden pillars are actually concrete. Just to really annoy, really rub it in how long this is going to take. I tried to get started on it last night, but I just didn't have the time. So I'm going to have to do it now instead, which is really frustrating. Shouldn't take too long though. Although... I should, I should go away real quick. I should go to the gunpowder mine, get more coal, get more nitrate, put more gunpowder on the crafts, and then also make some more bullets because, I mean, if I'm going to be sitting around smacking things with a pickaxe, I may as well do it in a situation where I'm actually getting something out of it on the other end. You can go like that. You can make me some more 762s. That's all of my gunpowder gone, which is very, very upsetting. Going to need a whole lot more of it. Lucky I know where to find it. I was curious if I had, and I don't have, I must have sold everyone I've ever found, if I had a, um, a, a Terry the Turret rather than a Sammy the Sledgy. I don't have a Terry, which is kind of upsetting, but whatever. You're going to have to come with me. Hopefully you do a decent job. I doubt it though. I'll be so far down deep in the mine, I don't think it's actually going to help me, but just having something up there just to like punch a couple of screamers in the face before they squeal might be worthwhile if it does actually work out that way for me. I've got my, my coffee, got my rock busters, my gas is in the bike. Did I empty the bike? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. I'll take you with me. All right. Let's go to it. Let's go to the gunpowder mine. It's a bit of a hike away, but that's all right. I feel like this is definitely the right way to go. Where are you? I know you're out here somewhere. It's hard to see in the fog. I've marked on the map. There it is. There it is. There's a cruise over right over the top. Nice. You wouldn't think that this little hole here holds access to all the treasures that I ever dreamed of. That is the place I want to be. This is the place of my dreams. We go like that, just like bonk old mate Sammy boy up here. You want to protect me, Sammy, please? Yep, good. I mean, I'm, you're probably going to turn off as soon as I get actually down into the mine, but that's okay. So this is the problem. You saw like in the last mine, like yesterday, when I had that nice clear picture up to the top so I can see any scrimmage or something coming for me. In this case, I can't. That's why I'm always more nervous being here than anywhere else, really. So that's the nitrate. This is the coal. That is my auger. Let's get you reloaded. Put the things in our body so it's even better for us. Nom and slurp. And let's get cracking on it. No time like the present. Let's get drinking. Oh. Um. That's. That's lead. So this is just an ammunition mine then. That's all this place is. So there's. Wow. Okay. So there's lead, coal, and nitrate powder all together. You can't get brass, and so we're going to have to dip out on that one. But everything else that goes into a bullet is found in this mine. That's about as good as you could really hope for, hey. That is a, that is winning the lottery all over again. I'll take all the nitrate first. I'm going to try and focus on nitrate this time. Or move on to coal the next time. One fat stack of gas for both of them. We're probably enough to get the relatively even amounts. Oh, I'm so happy. It's just like... Sometimes the game dicks me over, and it doesn't quite a lot. We've seen it. I've been really mad at the game lately because I keep getting dinked. But in this one instance... This is where the game is, my friend, and it's unusual. I made a heckin' mess of this mine, but that's okay. One full stack of gas got me almost 5,000 nitrate. And it wasn't particularly accurate either. I was taking lots of everything around me, some lead, some coal, lots of everything. Um, I'll go back to the main mine, I think, rather than going starting all the way over there. Oh, this does feel a little bit more dicey over here because, like, you know, it's such a big area that's been caved out here. Little, like... I'm probably like the right way to go would be like carve like little channels into the wall and never actually like open up any caverns. That's probably the better way to go, but oh well, too late for that now. But 10 seconds left of my coffee, so I might just like do this one and then cool, quick, have another slurp. Never turn down another coffee. I'll drink all five of them of one. Just go full bunny and hit it straight into my veins. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Give me all that compressed plant matter. Give me that goodness. I'm ready to fuck the atmosphere with my ammo production and endeavors. You know what? Just because I am kind of nervous about the size of this cavern, where's my way out? It's just there. Okay, so let's go. In fact, let's just quickly like, break open a bit of this. Just like that. There we go. I'm wasting coffee time, but that's okay. I'll put you just like there so I know how to get out of this place. But more importantly, I want to put a couple of just like... Re reassuring little pillars of destiny in here. Just to kind of hold up the roof. Because I don't want this place coming down when I least expect it to. You can go in there. I'll come back down that little pathway in a little bit. Alright, back to where we were. 
That seems like the wise decision. If I can hold up the roof with wooden frames, I save myself a very sore log in the morning. Concussions are no fun. And nothing will save me if I get buried underground. That's the end of another gas can in the auger. Let's just pillar here, which is probably pretty smart. I'll replace it with a frame one because I guarantee I'll accidentally dig that out at some point here. Um, how are we looking? So almost 6,000 coal, 5,000 nitro powder. That's a fair whack of gunpowder. Can I just like, see how much that'll actually make me? I mean, a lot. That's, that's quite a lot, actually. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Oh, interesting. So I could definitely make more... More in the chem station than whatever this one is. Where does this where's this getting made? I don't know, but why is it so much less? I don't I don't understand. You're one, you're worth two. Why are you so much more expensive? I don't get it. What's going on there? I'm not hundred percent sure, so I'm just gonna get out of here anyway. I could probably like try oh actually you know what? Let's try and even it up. So I need but let's go like this. Let's grab you, put you there, because I don't need that one. Let's grab you, put you there. Let's just try and get nice, even steam. I want 6,000 of both of them. It seems like the right responsible thing to do. Still got some time left on my uh, my, blue, my digging candy as well. So there we go, 6,000 of that. Just finish that one off. Grab some nitrate out of here as well. I just want to say, you know, if I go home, I can make an even stack of it. Don't end up with like half of this one or half of that one. Although that said, I do need nitrate powder for more... Oh shit, I need nitro powder for more body farm plots as well. So maybe I need to take some more some more nitrate than I was gonna take coal. I don't know. I don't know. I'm bad at making decisions. I can't even decide what resources I go with me. I'm terrible at this. Alright, I've got an extra thousand nitrate. That should get me through what I need to do. That's the way out just there. So jump onto you and up, up and away. Sammy boy, if you've been keeping me safe upstairs, bud. I really hope you have. If I come up there and there's corpses all around, then I'll have to pat you on the head or something and tell you you're a good boy. No, nah, we're looking good. We're looking lovely. We're looking lovely. Nice. Let's go home and get all that gunpowder on the go. Oh, and actually, you know what? Before I do, I should just I should probably just move the, the chemistry station downstairs, like, straight away. Yeah? There's no real point having it on the top. I'm going to move it eventually. Am I heading the wrong freaking way? No, I'm not. It's just up here. So if I move it down straight away, I can get the gunpowder crafting in that front room and then come and pick it up a little bit later. I'm holding shift out. I haven't been burning all my fuel. I really like this base. I really do. I want to like kind of symmetricality it. I want to symmetrify. That's even less of a word, I think. And build another kind of like balcony on the backside there leading out to the gatehouse. I have to check the dimensions of it, but it does definitely need like that backside of it too. And that should look pretty good, I think, once that's done. But I really like living here. It's um somewhere that I've never really lived before. In fact, I've definitely never lived in a, in a cemetery before because I've always thought it was too big to defend, which it probably still is. But I'm enjoying my time here. I'm enjoying the challenge. Got my chemistry station back. Let's just bang you down there. Not really needed right now. Not sure what I'm going to do with the top area. Like, I don't know, maybe like make myself a nicer bed and put it up there might be the way to go. Now, how am I going to actually lay this place out? That's the next problem. So the chemistry station is three wide. The workbench is two wide. I've got two cement mixes and two forges. So, huh. I think the best way to go is I'm gonna put that like that. I'll put cement mixer, cement mixer, forge, and forge. Moving the forges though is really hard because all of my resources are burned into them. You can't just kind of chop and change or move around as quite as easily. I put that one there. Put my workbench just across the road there. Once I kind of seal up the windows with glass and stuff, this place actually look pretty good. I think. I hope. I don't know. It's probably gonna go to absolute pieces very, very quickly. But for the moment, I'm feeling good about it. What have you got in here right now? You've got all like the mods for the pickaxe. Yes, you do. All right, well, let's real quick. Let's just break down this stuff as well. I want these stairs gone. Oh, <sighs> so it really takes so much time. All right, that was fun and all, but I'm sick of using the organs. I'm definitely going to call in some attention that I don't want by doing this. Grab you, modify, bang you back into there. Nice, nice, nice. So chemistry station is going to need all of the wood ever to get you up and running. Looks like I got like that for the moment. Gunpowder. <sighs> I wish I could make that. I really do. That's right there. I can make a thousand gunpowder for 800. That'll give me so much more, but was it demolitions expert? Uh, uh, what level of it actually? I think it was like like level five or level three or something dumb. Demo, uh, demolitions expert. If I was a greater chance to dismember, craft pipe bombs, pressure plates, that's just a bad idea for me. I should not be uh, going into this at all. That's how I'm going to murder myself. Dynamite, hubcat, landmines, craft grenades, and more efficient stacks of gunpowder. So it's level three. So I need, I mean, I could get there. Three skill points gets me there, but it is like the more efficient gunpowder crafting actually work it, uh, work it, worth it? I don't know that it is. I don't know that like, you know, the waste those skill points just for that when I can just like, you know, it cost me 20% more, but I guess it's kind of okay. 6,000 more gunpowder out of you 
for probably 94 minutes. Holy crap, that's a lot of squishy. I'm gonna need so much more wood. I'll be right back. I need to fuel my ammo production somehow. Remember also before I was gonna fuck the environment by doing this? I'm definitely gonna fuck the environment by doing this. And I feel bad about that. That's the opposite of what I should be doing. I need 94.32, so let's go uh, 95 on the nip. That'll do for me. Nice. Okay, turn you back on. You're pumping away. Cool bananas. Right, so while I'm here, let's get rid of these little, like, half holy boys here. I still don't know what I'm going to do, though, because I want to try and maintain it and leave it as, like, a window there, but I just don't think I have an opportunity to so... I need to get rid of the center blocks anyway. That's 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 a no-brainer. That's definitely a thing. But I want to leave the windows there so I can look out and see like my plants and stuff like that. Have a bit more, have a bit more uh, variety in your life than just living in a cave. I want to live in a cave. I dig down to bedrock and live down there like everyone else seems to do these days. But nah, I want to live on the surface. I want to see what's going on. I want to see the weather change. I want to look at my corn plants. See my chrysanthemum get done. I want the view. That's why I live here. That's why I build balconies on every base I ever live in. Well, one thing is for certain, I've got wood frames crafting up. I'm dropping stuff off back up here, but I also need to go and find myself some more wood. I really should plant, like, a sustainable forest outside or something. Given how often I do need wood, it's probably not a bad shout if it's a really good shout to sustainably farm the wood that I need, rather than just, like, fucking over the environment even more. It's like a very green episode, isn't it? Despite the fact I'm burning a bunch of coal and gasoline and doing what I want to do. As long as I'm conscious of the fact that I'm dicking over the environment and stuff, I suppose that's okay. As long as I rectify it in the future. Put you into there. Um, Orga Boy can go back. That's the wrong box. Back into this one. You stay with me. You can go back in the box. You stay with me. Hammer, you can say with me too. Wouldn't mind a nail gun, but I've never seen one, so guess we'll have to find it another day. All right, let's go get some wood. I want to try and plant this tree farm far enough away from my base that it doesn't, like, hinder my zombie killing stuff, but also close enough that I can just go get it whenever I want. So, like, just over here on the other side of, like, the Quickie Mart thing, I'm going to bang it out here. Put a whole bunch of trees on the side of the road, all in a nice straight line. Doesn't matter about, you know, like getting the most efficiency out of all the planting. As long as it gets the job done, I'm okay with it. There we go. Because I can just like want to wander through here with my pickaxe swinging. No, my pickaxe, my fire axe swinging. And take every bloody sapling that I can. Replant it all that I'm done. This will be fine. This will be fine. That should be enough on that side of the road, I think. I'll continue it on the other. Well, that's going to be a really annoying spot. I can't quite, oh, I can't quite get it to match up properly. It's going to need to, though. I know this doesn't matter at all, because I'm definitely just going to, like, harvest all this another day. But for the moment, I want this to... I want this to be nice. I want it to look nice. I want to have a nice avenue of trees up both sides of the road. It'd be nice to drive down, you know? Just, like... It's all about making your life just that little bit better. You know, we can all... It's like, you know, the reason I want to have windows instead of living down at Bedrock and all that kind of stuff. I want to... I want to have a, a nice life, not just survive. I want to live, if it makes any sense. Let's grab some snow out of you. Can I go snow? No. Can I go, like, ground or something then? Dirt? I'm going to need bloody uh, clay soil for it, though. Why can't... Oh, god damn it. I can't make... Well, where's... Fine. I'll take it out of here, then. If you're going to be a dick... No, nope, still can't do that either. What about, like, sand? Crushed sand? No, I want to make dirt blocks. Come on. I can make gravel, apparently. I have no idea if gravel actually, like, works to plant seedlings in, but I guess we'll find out. But I'll probably just check it here, can't I? This is gravel, isn't it? Doesn't look like I can. All right, never mind then. Don't bother making that. Right, I'll come back one day. I'll come back. I'll fill that divot with a bit of ground and I'll plant a tree there. Got to do it sooner or else they'll all grow out of sink. That one just goes like that. I know that I can just like go like this. As soon as I can put one down, I should put one down. And it'll always match up. Yeah, this will look lovely after we're done. A little bit of effort goes a long way. Somewhere, some Mary Poppins was probably singing about that. You can't see it because the snow started coming down, but the avenue is done. Now I just need to go find the rest of the trees. Not that I can see anything anyway. Oh, there's a tree right there. You can kind of see the silhouette. Maybe I'll just kind of run around with an axe out and just see what I can stumble across. There's no point in like looking off into the distance to see things because I can't see it anyway. So I may as well just go like this. How are you looking actually? You've got a whole, like, you're full of mods. You're lovely. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's another tree right there. This is just going to have to be how I do it. I need a lot of wood, so I'm going to have to be out here for a while. Hopefully there's no cougars or anything lurking in the mist, like at an overage nightclub. Stay away from any of the dark corners, Josh. You don't want to get snaffled up and taken home. I think this will be the last tree that I cut down. I've got like 1,200 wood for the moment, so I think we're pretty all right there. The bike is over this way. Thank God they've like marked the bike on your HUD now so you can like find it again. Imagine trying to find a vehicle or a bike or anything like that in this kind of weather. You just never, ever freaking would. There it is there. Nice. Um, I have to check the map to see how to get out of here again. So just back this way. There we go. Back over there. God, I hate the snow. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> see? 
How am I supposed to see that? I couldn't see that until I was inside it. Now the rain's coming back, so I should hopefully be able to see again. God, the snowfall sucks so much. So for these walls, I mean, if they're going behind there, I suppose they don't need to be like half blocks or anything. It look kind of annoying if they were. So we're going to go like full across there. Now the issue I've got, I mean, this might work. The corn plant's going to dick me a little bit. Can I put anything on top of the potato plants? No, only up to there. So that's the first block I could put a glass pane in if I was going to do it like that. So my little plants on the outside are kind of ruining that form, which is very, very upsetting. Maybe I'll just make it, maybe I'll just make it like a solid wall. Maybe I'm just like binding off more than I can chew and trying to do a little bit too much. Oh, but I like, I like the arches though. They, they look so nice and they match so well. Oh, I don't know. Or maybe the other option is to like dig up all my plants, all my planters as well, and move them out a little bit more, which maybe isn't the worst idea in the world. But it means I have to like reconfigure a lot of it, which isn't so bad, I don't think. And I think for the aesthetic result, I think that might actually be the way I have to go about it. Wasn't really how I planned on going down, but here we are. But fuck it, why not? This hurts me a little bit to do. I'm going through and breaking down all, all of my stuff. All my plants coming with me. I mean, I'm getting three per pop anyway. So it's not actually that bad. And plus, um, what should we call it? Making planters are cheaper now. And I have lots of nitrate left over. So it's probably have to be done anyway. But it still hurts me after all this time. Working so hard to grow these stupid things. Pulling them all down again. It hurts me deep down inside. How's my chrysanthemum going? Still growing. Just take your time, why don't you? have been growing for freaking like six days. I thought I was a green thumb. I thought I specked into all this stuff to make it better for me. Still can't grow a freaking a, a weed. All the planters are dug up, except for the chrysanthemum that's still growing over the other side. But like pulling all this up again does give me an opportunity to kind of reimagine how I'm doing my planting stuff. And I wouldn't mind making myself like a sneaky greenhouse or something. That could be kind of fun. So I can't go all the way up against the edge because that's where the glass needs to be across there. And that's fine. So I have to start a little bit further out. All the way across like that. So maybe this time, maybe I'll just go like this. Like that. I mean, it's not not quite as like, easily accessible as the last one. The last one was definitely kind of a bit more bare and that made it a bit more easier to use. But something like that, and I can build something up around the outside, put some glass in to keep all the heating, given I do live in the snow. Oh, but I kind of want... See, I wouldn't have minded just kind of matching matching that angle there. So if I get my frames out, I go like that, I'm going to match it onto this one here as well, out to there. Like, if I could have made that the glass, that would have been pretty bloody good, I think. But then I wouldn't have been able to actually put anything anywhere. I don't know. I can't use this box. So it would have just been... Yeah, it would have just been like two layers of, of plants. That's not very many at all. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Dang it. Because that was the line I wanted to follow, but I don't have that option to me anymore. All right, that's okay. We'll figure something else out. I've made it just that little bit smaller just to um, make it a little bit easier to kind of build around. If it's too big, it's going to be really kind of cumbersome and annoying. Just kind of like trusting my, uh, just like eyeing it off. Just like, you know, use the old measure measuring tape that is upstairs and just kind of going, yeah, I guess that's about right. And that seems to work for the most part. So we'll put spuds over there. I do have some more spud seeds upstairs, actually. And I can even make some more now that I have, you know what, hang the spud seeds upstairs. I've got plenty. I'm going to make one, though. Let's go get the other one from upstairs. I thought I could make plenty more of them, but I guess not. I'll plant a bunch of potatoes because I do want to make those steak and veg when I get maturity to. Grab you. Got lots of seeds in there. I'll come back for some more if I need them. But I, most of the ones that I do actually need, I've already planted in the past. This is just like, this is just moving them. When you dig them up, put them in a punnet and sell them at Bunnings. Bit of a weird uh, combination of foods out here. We've got spuds on the left, got pumpkins on the end, and coffee on the right. Not sure why, it's just how we ended up playing it out. I didn't really think about that to start with, but whatever, there it is. That's how it's gonna be, little darling. Right, you need to go across like that, and they're gonna stick you out a little bit as well. How, oh wait, is this different? No, it's the, it is the same, it's the same. All right, Josh, calm down, it's okay. How far do you stick out from the base? One, two, three, is that gonna like, uh, like attach to the fungus farm? Uh, one, two, three. No, not quite. Ooh, what I could do. Like, if this is going to be a farm here, and I've got the funguses growing in here, I could, like, dig a little hole in the wall on the side and, like, have another little entryway. That could be kind of fun. Uh, seeds are not seeds. They are spores. Mushroom seeds, mushroom spores. Clay. 
I need clay soil to make seeds? Come on, that's bullshit. I've got the wood. I do need more clay soil, which is annoying. I'll grab the rotten flesh. What do I need for farm plots again? Clay soil, nitrate powder. Okay, I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to do it. Where was that fast second nitrate? There it was. Where was my auger boy? Grab you, quickly grab some repair kits, repair that one up. I'll grab the stuff out of my shovel and bang it into there. Uh, specifically just like, just that one, because that's gonna actually really help me. Grab you, in you go. Okay. Got some gas. Let's go down to the old farm, down to the, or up to the north. I keep saying that wrong. I don't know why in my mind that's down, but it's definitely north. So up to the north. Quickly duck out there and grab a whole bunch of clay soil again. Not really how I imagined getting it done, but just gotta do it. Because I need the clay soil for the farm plots. I need it for ammo making. I need it for steel making. I need it for freaking everything. Clay apparently is the most valuable resource in this whole goddamn world. I didn't bring any fancy things with me this time, but that's okay. That's all right. Old deal. It'll be fine. But as crews do with the auger, I'm sure we'll get everything we need out of this anyway. I might just go up and then back again. I don't want to waste too much time here. So go up to the other side of the field, then come back. I don't know if I can actually go deeper with this though. Like with the other POIs going more than one block deep means I'm just getting snow again. I don't want to test it now because it'll be a divot for me to fall into. I might test it at the very end. But so far, it's going so good. I can't quite do it at full speed when I'm not crouching. So just crouch and walk. Yeah, nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. At least now, if I do, I pull in a screamer as well. I'm outside and actually have a chance of fighting him off properly. All right, I did too, but I still got more gas left over. So I guess we're going back for a third. Getting a whole lot of clay goodness. Well, almost up to 4,000 now, which is kind of fun. Is that going to be enough to last me any more than a week? I doubt it, but hey, at least I have it now, so I know for later. Thank God I found these farms, though. If I was like looking through the whole winter biome, looking for clay, given how it apparently is needed for every freaking recipe known to man. That would have been a massive hindrance. So thank God this big old patch of it is down here for me. Just like saving me so much time. Oh, there we go. That's the last of it gone. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just, we'll just finish off this row. I was kind of thinking like, don't like trying to save the gas, but I have to like modify it anyway to pull the mod back out and put it back in my shovel. So not too much of an issue. Don't particularly care. We'll just finish off this last little row because it's much quicker to do it this way than with the shovel boy. Nice and easy. Cool. So how many did we get? We got just over 6,000. That's about all I could have asked for. Grab you. Grab that one. Put that one back into here. Nice. Let's go home. Nope. Nope. Don't do that just yet. In fact, yes. 25. That's too many. That's too many. I need to go home and figure out exactly how many I need. I don't want to waste any materials that I might not need to. I'd much rather be precise and like save myself 20 seconds than waste a whole bunch of hours later going off into the wilderness again to mine more anything. Is there a... Uh... There was. Uh, guys, can you not try and break through the weakest part of my base, please? I know you're like super smart and stuff now, but that's pretty freaking rude still. Just like a sneaky wandering horde showing up at my base. As you do, fair enough. We've got any more friends out here. I'll quickly fire around to the sky. Probably just could have shot it into you. Hey, bud. That was a bit wasteful. Let's fire it off into the sky just so you can all come over and hang out with me. Come be my friends. I have no idea what that would feel like. This is the first time for me. Loza, how you doing? I asked for friends and Loza came booking it. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. You know, I'll dip my chips in you even though you did. That's what friends are for, right? Warm up your dads. So I actually only need two more farm plots, which I've got going on just there because... Like once these are grown, I can dig them up. I can continue that out to there. I will actually do what I was going to do and dig a sneaky hole in the side of the wall here. Rather than having to run around the front to where the door actually is already, I can just come through the side here. That's going to work out better for me, I think. Hopefully the mushies don't get too brightened in here, too blinded by the sun and still grow for me. That'd be very lovely. We could just like bang out some stairs as well. Always something to do. Always stuff to do in this game. Very little of this is actually fighting hordes anymore. Now it's just making my place a nicer place to live. I want to live in luxury. Seal up the other entrance like that. Where's my hammer gone? There it is. Nice. Okay. Got to keep this place nice and dark for my sporzy boys to get all nice and strong and healthy. You just like sitting there and soak up all the nutrients you want, buddy boy. We're looking good. We're looking good here. This looks a bit nicer around the front here. I do want to make myself some nice wood doors for that, actually. Not like the scungy freaking like scrap door that's like just barely held together with a bunch of twine. I want the nice stuff. Grab some nails. Did I even grab them? No, I didn't. I was too quick on the pull. Door. Door. Doors. Arena. There we go. That one or that one? Let's go that one. Do I need two? I do need two, actually. Make two of those. I've got lots of ammo in there. That's nice. We're looking okay. We're looking a bit better. Look at that. That's a lot of ammo. I'm feeling better about that. Here we go. Just put the doors like that and like that. I'll probably need to get... Oh, man. I wanted to, I wanted to save the arches, though. 
Dang. I don't know. I'll think about that one a little bit later on. Keep that arch going all the way around the outside like that would be nice and lovely. Did I put you down backwards? No, I didn't. That's fine. That's fine. Just for some reason, the fire underneath it looks a little bit weird. But that's okay. We can deal with that. You're still booking along. Right, I'll grab both of you. Because I'm pretty sure I've got some more casings and some tips that need to get crafted up. Um, grab that one too. Yes, there is. There's more there. And hopefully a fat stack in there. Nice, nice, nice. Um, you need more clay though. Here, have all of that. All of that clay. Let's put a whole bunch of you into there like that. Let's go casings. A whole bunch of those too. Not quite enough time on the fuel though. There we go. That's almost almost bang on perfect. Actually only wasting 10 seconds of fuel, which I love efficiency. Call me fucking Seth Dozeman. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. And yes, I know it'll be more efficient just to say it once, but whatever. That's fine. Let's go plant the rest of these things out here. One day, my freaking chrysanthemum will grow and I'll be a happy lad. But in the meantime, I'm still a happy lad. Bloody steam overlay was always show up. Put you into there. And let's replant some of these things. I need all these things to grow. Do I have one aloe vera? I don't really have one aloe vera. How's that happen? Just going to go aloe across the back like that there. Going to plant some corn up the side. The scary, sp the spoopy bloody nighttime music has sounded. So now it's getting real heckers out here. Can I make another spore, actually? Spore. I can make another spore. That's going to be really good. Going to go plant some more in my little fungus farm in here. Turn you down. Grab what? Where, where'd you go? Oh, I've got two to plant. Nice, Gary. One there, one there. We're doubling our production of mushrooms. That's going to be bloody lovely. Don't know why I need mushrooms to make steak and chips, but sure, whatever. Maybe the mushroom sauce on top of the steak if you're going to get real fancy with it. I kind of understand. What I haven't done, though, I do have the, froth, the, the frothy recipe. So I don't need to spec into MasterChef to do it. What do you need for froths? Froths, what do you need, lad? You need hops, you need murky water. Done. Fucking donezo, mate. I'll go grab some fucking <laughs> some shit water and go make you some. Where is it? All in here. Do I even have any? I do have some. Grab that one. I'll grab some more hops out of here too. I have it left over. I do not. Don't worry, mate. So after making all that gunpowder for me, we're going to make some nice, cool, frothy beer to cool off with. Oh, man. I'm getting all, like, juicy just thinking about it. Fuck, I love a good froth. So my guy's actually just started complaining that he's hungry. But kind of annoyingly, I thought I'd already unlocked the recipe for steak and potatoes. I guess I have it, but I very much like it if I could. Master Chef. What level Master Chef do I need to make it? If it's not level one, we're really bloody upset. Grilled meats. Uh, would, why can't it just tell me? It gives me, like, a vague overview. Meat stew. Oh, crap, steak and potatoes. There it is. So I need level two. So I need to go put two points into Master Chef to make it. Or just find the bloody recipe somewhere. I don't like my chances of doing that, though, because I'm just not that lucky. We all saw how long it took me to find one bloody recipe for, for learning Lick Sun. Then, of course, I found a whole bunch after that. But that's beside the point. Uh, red tea. Speaking of learning Lick Sun, grab some red tea. It's acid as well. Acid dog food, red tea, and what's the last one? I don't remember anymore. Learn Lick Sun, frothies. It's a big ask. It's a big ask. I'm making my own Jabrutals now, but I guess it's going to have to work out for me in the end. Got you. Got you. I need to grab the dog food. Let's just grab those ones and some frothies. You know what? I'll grab all of those for learning elixir production. Go like that. There you go. Make me all of those. Sure, just three. That's all of those, I suppose. But then we're going to take this frothies out onto the balcony and enjoy a nice little sip. Where's the sunset? Over there. Say goodbye to the day. Not a particularly, like... I don't know, over the top day? I suppose have a second one. You know what? Have a third one. Treat yourself, Joshy boy. Get that fuzzy feeling going all through your veins. Turn that blood delivery system into a frothy delivery system. Even though it was like a raiding day, like just like a, a base building day, like a, a setup day, I think it went pretty well, actually. Ooh, hang on. No, it's Grandpa's Moonshine, not Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. I'm getting it. Why is Grandpa making so many bathtub buddy uh, beverages? What's going on, buddy? Do you need a hobby? Do you need someone to come and buy when you set a monopoly or something like that? Why do you have you taken up? Why, why is your business dealings now purely liquids that have been fermenting in some sort of laundry dish? What are you doing? What are you doing? Grandpa's loaded elixir, forget an elixir, moonshine, fucking everything. Uh, speaking of all the things he brews, I mean, Grandpa's awesome sauce. $50 redos that costs. Jar of honey, mushrooms, five mushrooms, and a gas can. Doesn't really seem like a drink. If you're fermenting money and petrol, I don't care how much honey you're putting in there. Nah, it's just not going to work. Maybe it's just a gold digger drink though. You throw enough money at the problem and like flash a fancy car. And it doesn't matter that you have a bunch of fungus. You might just be sweet enough to lure in at some sort of better deal. I have no idea how I made that joke work, but somehow I stumbled through it. It almost made sense. 
Oh, it's all good fun. How are you looking? You've got lots of cement in there. Lovely. you got lots of cement in there. I think tomorrow... I think tomorrow should be the day that I go out and start building that secondary wall. When's the next horde? It's day 42, isn't it? So I've got tomorrow, the next day, then the horde day. So everything's kind of coming together. You're still pumping out. That's... What am I short on right now, actually? Got casings. Don't have bullet tips. And I got... Not, I'm crafting all the gunpowder, so that's okay. All right, let's go... More casings, I guess? Sure, why not? I need to make everything, so there's no real hassle. Just make them both and you'll be fine. Oh, man. We're starting to kick some goals, though. I'm starting to feel really good about this. I have no idea, really, what I'm going to do about the rest of this. I'll put some windows in when I can. Start moving some of the stuff downstairs, but it's going to take a long time to do. But just having a little bit more breathing room is the end goal. So tomorrow... Oh, tomorrow, I have, well, I have to go to that last of the quests that I got, then go see Trader Potato. This is a lot of things to do. There's a lot of things to do, but I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do in the next episode for the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.